Welcome to this senior seminar on CEDAW, the United Nations Convention for the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women and on the Rights of Women. I'm Dr. Walters, and I'm the course designer and your instructor. The presentation that follows will introduce you to the course topic, the syllabus, and the course site. The recording will move along at a rapid pace but you can find the PowerPoint slides attached. Here's my contact information from the syllabus, which you can also find on the course link. In addition to the info in my bio, I have dedicated about five years of work to developing this course, attending seminars and workshops at Oxford University and at the Kellogg Institute for International Studies at the University of Notre Dame. Students in the past have found the course to be highly engaging, empowering, and informative with respect to ideas and strategies that are important to them. This is the home page or the landing page. A new announcement appears at the beginning and usually the end of each week. When you enter the site, click on Welcome SOS 381 for the welcome or overview announcement and information on how to get started. This is the announcement page. New announcements will appear at the top of the page each week. Scrolling down, you will find information on how to get started. Here, you should click on Syllabus and Course Information. Here's what you will see when the Syllabus Course Information link opens. You should open and print off a copy of the Syllabus, which may change sometime during the semester. The Syllabus is also available on the Google link, Google Drive link. The course description provides an overview of the course substance, followed by a brief summary of the requirements. The learning objectives will help you set goals that align with those of the course. And in the section that follows this on the syllabus, you will find the required texts and information on how to access them. Here, and on page 3 of the actual syllabus, you will find a brief summary of the assignments and their weights. Each assignment has a point value equal to its percentage or weight in terms of contribution to your grade. Next, per the instructions on the announcements page, click on Weekly Assignments on the Course Navigation panel. You will note that the topics and dates for each weekly folder aligns with the information on the syllabus. The weekly folders for subsequent weeks will be closed when you begin. Each Sunday at midnight, the assignment folder for that week will open and you will receive an email announcement. Right before the schedule of assignments, you will find a description of policies. At the end of Unit 1, you will be required to sign a checklist indicating that you understand and agree to the course, Queens College, and CUNY policies. You can also click on Calendar to see dates across the semester. For most weeks, you will participate in a discussion that spans two weeks 
using the discussion board. Each forum will open at midnight on Sunday before the beginning of that week. Discussion topic or prompt appears inside the weekly folder with a link to the forum that looks like this. You can't read the text on the slide, but this is easily legible inside the folder. Each topic aims at helping you exchange ideas central to the course goals. A grading rubric is attached to each forum. The rubric and the rubrics for all assignments can be found in My Grades. Next, click on the course link for blogs and paper assignments. Then click on the link for blog one. Next, click on the actual assignment. For Blog 1, you will collect and organize information needed for your final paper, which requires you to select two nation states for a comparative case study project, and then to collect, organize, and analyze data about each nation state. You will add data each week as part of the weekly assignments. The United Nations Interactive Map Database provides a core feature for our work together this semester. You should choose your nation state cases based on whether or not the country is a nation state party to the CEDA optional protocol picking one that is and one that is not, a topic that you will learn about in weeks five to six. You will be able to see and research whether the nation state is a party or not using this website. Other relevant information about countries can be found in the blog toolkit. and you will use these databases to build a matrix, adding data each week as we read about and discuss different topics. The course navigation panel also has a link called Websites. Inside that link, you will find other relevant sources of data and information. The blog site and all other assignments will help you in the creation of a successful final project, but also should give all of us an integrated learning experience. I will be eagerly awaiting your contributions as your projects unfold, and I look forward to our exchanges about these throughout the semester. Sometimes, when we take courses, we think about them in terms of the assignments, the readings, the data, how it will be graded, what we must do to be successful in the course. We may forget about the underlying reality to which the materials refer. In this case, that reality is the conditions of life for women in different parts of the world and how the CEDAW committee members interact with representatives from very different cultural cultures regarding these conditions and an important international law convention, a living document. I look forward to our work together.